share a new Flux workflow that supports your various prompts. This advantage is that it can precise control of some details. Use reverse prompt words to control it switch more accurately. It is very simple that the CFG value is greater than 1. If it is greater than 1, it will be used. Reverse prompt word effect. If it is 1, it is the normal default state. This 1 has no effect. The role of this 1.1 is to play the role of reverse prompt. As for the model, I am using the highest effect except for the pro model. Def, FP bar is OK. Generally, just choose the best dev. The prompt word model just is choose also the best one. Don't use the compressed, high or fast. Anyway, those models that lose quality are not needed. OK, I will give you a brief demonstration. This is what I introduced before. The rest are introduced in my previous video. These are some of the commonly used. Flux workflow. This is a prompt word. Automatic repair prompt. The above is a manual repair. Here is the raw picture. Normal prompt word plus SD word prompt mode combination. The first one above is a normal raw picture. Here is the basic picture. Below is a slightly more advanced picture with built-in reverse prediction prompts. This is a high-definition restoration. This is the basic version. Below is an advanced version. Just repeat this step. Use a more advanced repair. No, model repair. The above are basically what I introduced in the previous issue. This is what we introduced in this issue. Support reverse prompt word generation. The model he supports, alright? Flex. He uses here. This model of dev. A model of the highest quality below Pro. Then this is also using FP1. No need for this FP8. Then he uses the switch, remember this. I have written here that it must be greater than 1. Reverse prompt words work. EM, below. The picture of his role. Let me demonstrate it here first. For example, I don't use reverse prompt words. This is changed to 1. If it is changed to 1, this is just an ordinary, normal picture. Because none of these functions work. It's the same as the first row picture. This is a normal picture. You fix the seeds. Generate and see the effect. What I am using now is the image of the EndBrain Cloud. People don't want to install and deploy local. You can open the EndBrain Cloud. Click on My Mirror. If you can see the latest workflow, there is this Flux raw image. That means my image is updated to the latest version. You can directly click. If you can see this workflow, then you can click it and use it directly. Below is also the workflow in all my notes. All can be enabled with one click. Don't worry about deployment. Everything here is usable normally. If you want to install locally, then you can open my notes. Click on this Confuey tutorial. It will jump here. Second Flux raw image. All the work is in this file. 
There are all insulation down our lab and introduction of each workflow. There is also a workflow download. This workflow includes all the common workflows of the Flux series. This makes it easy to use. This is suitable for people who download and deploy locally. There are various. Some nodes require for local installation download. Model download, etc. I am currently using the image of the end-to-end -end cloud. This is convenient. No need to say more. And all are operational. Ready to use. I want a one to one correspondence for any workflow in my notes. OK, back to this. For example, if I use one, it didn't turn on the reverse prompt. Just a normal picture. At this time, I want the reverse prompt would work. Then I need to change this to one or more. For example, of course you can change it to two. But it is not recommended. No point. And if you raise this too high, it will be very different from the original picture. So the suggestion here is 1.1. For example, I changed it to 1.1. This raw picture is the same as 1. Now change to 1.1 regeneration map. It remains essentially unchanged. Same as this. So this is why we need to change it. 2. It is recommended to use 1.1. Let the reverse prompt words work. Don't adjust it too high, because if you turn this out to high, for example, 1.5, then the picture will change a lot. We will not be able to accurately control the modification of this picture. Because I changed it to 1.1, it basically hasn't changed, so this is. It would be convenient for us to modify it in the next step. For example, if we want to change this. Let him pull on his clothes. The hint here is to be naked or not to be naked. Then because this side is greater than 1, this reverse prompt works. So let's generate it again. He will modify this picture directly. And the original picture of this picture remains basically unchanged. This is why this is set to an advantage of 1.1. This ensures that the reverse prompt words work. And ensure that the original picture. Not much will change. This is. Tips. All tools are designed to control it more accurately. A trivial effect we need. He will put on this picture. Close. The, the picture is basically the same as the previous one. So this is the advantage of setting it to 1.1. If you turn this up too high, it will leave you. The first image generator. Finally, you draw a card that needs this picture to make fine adjustments on it. If you set this wrong, it is, for example, change the tool. The same prompt words, he will stray far from the first picture. And if this is improved, his speed will also slow down. He is very strange. Anyway, it's a mess. So this kind of professional should be called overfitting, it seems. So the role here is just to let him. Just turn on the switch for the reverse prompt to work.
No need. I expect to increase this value to achieve some other factor function. Then we can add more prompt words here. For example, we don't want this red dragon. Then we'll add another. Then directly regenerate. In this way, it will be generated directly on the original image. In this way, he will basically not deviate far from the first picture. This is how it is achieved. The role of reverse prompt words is Process Fine, tuning control You don't need to keep drawing cards. If you keep drawing cards, you may never be able to draw anything until you die. This is the effect I want. Through this step, the reverse prompt word can directly reach. If you just keep drawing cards on the first step, that's difficult. Or modify the prompt words, etc. So this workflow that supports reverse prompt words is pretty cool. This is the one I have used online. Simplest and very practical. And you only need to change this 0 0.1 to enable. And keep consistent with the original picture. This is the most important. If I turn on reverse prompts, he is totally different from the original picture. That doesn't really make sense. Okay, that's all for this issue. Let's go play.